Building these huge ships takes months and involves several stages. There is a crazy amount of power needed to move these massive and expensive container ships. Once the basic frame of the ship is in place, the engines, navigation equipment, and other systems are installed. The engines of these giant ships are very complex. The engine begins with the construction of the engine block, which is made up of many individual parts that are precisely machined and then assembled into a single block. Ship propellers are an essential part of any ship that needs to move through the water. They are complex devices that are designed to be efficient and effective. By understanding how ship propellers work, you can appreciate the engineering that goes into making them and the important role they play in maritime transportation. Ship propellers work on the principle of hydrodynamics, utilizing the reaction force generated when water is accelerated in one direction. The basic concept is similar to the way an airplane propeller works in air, but the medium is water instead. Ship propellers typically have multiple blades that are shaped like airfoil sections, similar to an airplane wing. The shape of the blades is carefully designed to maximize efficiency and minimize cavitation. Cavitation is a phenomenon that can occur when the pressure around the propeller drops to the point where water vaporizes and forms bubbles. These bubbles can collapse, causing damage to the propeller blades. Propeller design and careful operation help minimize the risk of cavitation. The ship's engine or motor drives the propeller shaft causing the propeller blades to rotate. The rotational motion of the blades is translated into a linear motion of water. As the blades rotate, they cut through the water, creating a pressure difference between the front and back surfaces of the blades. This pressure difference causes water to be accelerated in the direction of rotation. According to Newton's third law of motion, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the case of a ship propeller, as water is accelerated backward, an equal and opposite reaction force is exerted on the blades, pushing the ship forward. of a ship propeller are not flat. They are twisted at an angle, called the pitch. 
The pitch of the blade determines how much water it bites into as it rotates. A higher pitch means that the blade bites into the water more, which creates more thrust but also requires more power from the engine. A lower pitch means that the blade bites into the water less, which creates less thrust but also requires less power from the engine. Some ships have controllable pitch propellers. These propellers have blades that can be rotated to change their pitch. This allows the captain to adjust the amount of thrust that the propeller produces, which can be useful for maneuvering the ship or for changing speed. Even if you have a minimal understanding of maritime terminology, you have probably heard about a ship's rudder before. While the term rudder is used quite often, relatively few people understand their purpose or how a ship's rudder actually works. Simply put, a ship's rudder is an essential piece of navigation equipment that serves as the vessel's primary steering means. As you may know, the rudder is almost always on the underside of a ship's stern or rear. What is a ship's rudder made out of? While the build material will depend on the size of the rudder and the type of ship it will be attached to, they are almost always made from high strength materials, such as steel, aluminum alloys, or durable composite materials. For cruise ships, the rudder is almost always made of high grade stainless steel because it needs to withstand incredible forces and resist corrosion for the ship's lifespan. There are different types of ship rudders, although they are all very similar in terms of design and purpose. Some of the most common include a spade rudder, skeg rudder, and flap rudder. Each type is designed to match the unique needs of different types and sizes of ships. Essentially, a ship rudder protrudes from the ship and has an almost wing-like structure that sits in the water. To help with steering and navigation, the rudder can be moved using manual or automated controls. When the direction of the rudder is altered, it interacts with the water to change the ship's direction. Ship rudder movement is important for steering and maneuvering a vessel and plays an essential role in maintaining stability. Without a strong rudder, a ship would be at the mercy of water currents in the direction of the wind. Rudders are located at the stern of the ship, rear, usually behind the ship's propellers. This helps direct the flow of water so the ship can be steered. While the rudder can be angled, they are designed to pivot on a vertical turning axis, allowing the ship to move in all directions. While the primary purpose of a ship's rudder is to give the helmsman the ability to steer the ship, Another essential function is the ability to alter and maintain the vessel's course. While this may sound like the same thing, 
it is a slightly different function. When a ship moves in its desired direction, various external forces can push against it and alter its course. By moving the rudder to counteract forces like wind, water currents, and waves, the rudder can be used to ensure that the ship stays on its intended and chartered course. Now that you know what a ship's rudder is used for, it is time to explain how they function. Basically, a ship rudder operates on two fundamental principles. Hydrodynamic force. Essentially, hydrodynamic forces are forces generated when water flows against something, creating pressure and drag along an object, which leads to negative pressure on the downstream side of the object. While this may sound pretty complicated, the essential takeaway is that the blade of a ship's rudder moves the flowing water to create pressure differences towards its rear intentionally. When this occurs, the ship will move in the opposite direction. In other words, the movements of the ship's rudder can generate hydrodynamic forces that will turn the ship. The vessel can be steered and maneuvered by manipulating these forces by angling the rudder. Angled Deflection of Water not only will the direction in which the rudder is pointed generate hydrodynamic forces that can steer the ship, but it can also be angled to modify these forces, allowing ships to make sudden changes in direction and sharp turns. Slightly angling the rudder also makes it passable to straighten and maintain a specific course. Maintaining ship propellers is crucial for ensuring safe and efficient operation of your vessel. Proper care can extend the propeller's lifespan, keep fuel consumption optimized, and prevent unforeseen breakdowns. Visual inspection. Regularly inspect the propeller for visible damage like dents, cracks, corrosion, or blade erosion. Pay particular attention to the leading edges and tips. Cleaning. Regularly remove marine growth like barnacles and algae as they can significantly increase drag and reduce efficiency. Use appropriate methods like scraping, brushing, or ultrasonic cleaning, depending on the severity. Lubrication, grease moving parts like shafts and hubs according to manufacturer's recommendations. This reduces friction and wear. Propeller balancing. Over time, propellers can become unbalanced due to uneven wear or repairs. This can cause vibrations and stress on the drivetrain. Regular balancing ensures smooth operation and extends component life. Pitch and rake measurement. The pitch and rake angles of the blades determine the propeller's performance and fuel efficiency. Periodic measurement and adjustment may be necessary to maintain optimal operation. Ultrasonic testing. For critical propellers, 
Regular ultrasonic testing can detect internal cracks or voids that might go unnoticed visually. This helps prevent catastrophic failures at sea. Benefits of proper maintenance. Enhanced efficiency. A well-maintained propeller consumes less fuel and delivers optimal performance. Reduced downtime. Proactive maintenance prevents unexpected breakdowns and keeps your vessel operational and available. Extended lifespan. Properly cared for propellers last longer, saving you replacement costs in the long run. Improved safety. Regular maintenance minimizes the risk of propeller failure, which can have serious safety consequences.